going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collexio, bringing you another figure review. And today, we are taking a look at Jazzer's AW Unmatched Series 6, which is now shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. As always, use promo code for life. It will save you 10% off your order when you shop at Ringside Collectibles. Uh, so, I, again, I feel like it's been a long time since we've really reviewed some Jazzer's products. So, we do have Unmatched 6. Today, we're taking a look at Ruby Soho, Malachi Black, and Mr. Brody Lee. Um, probably my most anticipated from this uh, set is Malachi. He's one of my favorite wrestlers today. And I'm interested to see how different this is from the, the Supreme figure. Because we did get that quite a while ago now, it seems. I love that figure, personally. I know there were a lot of complaints uh, as far as his skin tone. They A lot of people didn't really care for um, the head scans. Uh, and especially the tattoo detail. That was a big one. So... Um, we're definitely going to jump into some comparisons with that figure. And again, like I said, I personally loved it, but this is going to be more, I want I don't want to say a budget version because it's still an unri uh, unmatched, unrivaled figure. But again, the Supreme is a step above. So you're paying a lot more for not just accessories, but articulation and detail to the figure. So I'm interested to see how that figure stacks up. First time we're getting a look at Ruby Soho. She does look pretty good. You get two heads. I really do appreciate that for the first figure. And she has a ton of tats. So imagine uh, the cost for this wave between Malachi and Ruby Soho. I'm surprised they even put them in the same wave. But I, I guess you do get to balance that with Mr. Brody Lee, the exalted one. You do get the papers here. You get a microphone, the TNT championship belt. And I know a lot of us have been clamoring for uh, Mr. Brody Lee in his suit. So we finally do get it. And it does look pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I want to say he is the chase. I know we saw images of this set a long time ago i think owen and Brody lee are the two chase figures from unmatched six but I, I could be wrong like i said it's been a while i know there are a lot of rumors where people thought the aw line was you know maybe coming to an end but that's not the case from what again from what i was hearing uh there were a lot of delays with their factory so we should see um a ton more figures coming out and i i know they're they're probably losing some of their customer base they need to be a little more transparent and just Tell us that from the beginning. I know personally, I'm losing a little interest in AW itself as far as a wrestling company. Just a little bit. I mean, I'll be honest. I've been big behind Cody's return. So that's kind of where my wrestling focus has been going. And, you know, I can only watch so much wrestling, to be honest. Um, there's only so much time in the day with all the wrestling shows. And I'll be honest, the, the quality hasn't quite been there with a lot of the, the Jazzers lines. So I'm interested to see if now we're kind of back in full swing, hopefully, uh, that we've definitely made some improvements. But... Anyways, jumping into the figure packaging, you will see the silver foil across the top versus what you usually get with the gold with the unrivaled line. The unmatched goes with the silver. Get the awesome images of each wrestler on the front. Flipping the boxes over to the side, you will have the AW logo. Flipping all the way over, you get the series or figure number, sorry, in the bottom as well as their little images. And always my favorite part of the AW, the packaging on the back. Look, that looks freaking awesome. I love the image of Brody in the suit. Malachi looks awesome, and so does Ruby Soho, as well as the other figures in the wave. Let's come back and crack all three of them out of their packaging and see what they're all about. Starting us off, we're taking a look at Ruby Ride. And as far as her accessories, so you get a single open interchangeable hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. It does have some great tattoo detail, as well as some painted fingernails on there. Uh, very hard to see. But just kind of a random open hand. So she does come with a rock on hand that is on the figure. I would have preferred to get like maybe two sets of hands. Like, you know, maybe another open hand to go with this one. And maybe two rock on hands. But unfortunately, we only get one hand plus one interchangeable head. So at least they threw in the other head. That, you know, kind of makes up for it. Uh, but you will see you get two different head scan options. So you can either go with... The tongue out or the kind of plain stoic look here. Personally, I like the one with the tongue out for sure. I think that is probably the head skin the majority of the people are going to be using on their figure display. Uh, you can see the, the hair is sculpted the same. Again, this is kind of consistent with a lot of figures in this wave. Uh, it seems Jazzwares is using the similar head, you know, head sculpts, but kind of uh, retooling the, uh, the expression. So she has an open tongue out scan with versus the straight face scan here uh, on the side you can see the earrings with the hair sculpted nicely to the side the nice kind of black underneath kind of give it a little, a little shaved buzz look uh moving on to the other side you can see the same kind of strands of hair so really nice i do like both head scans if you look closely she does have a nose ring on each of them so that came out pretty good uh she does have the black lipstick here uh, so, personally, I really do like the likeness of the head scans. Uh, they did a pretty good job. 
and she has a ton, ton of tattoo detailing on this figure. Like I said, I'm surprised they were able to squeeze in the budget for her and Malachi in the same wave. Uh, but you see the, the chest uh, tattoo detail here. Let's see if I can get a little close-up action for you. See the details on the tattoos? Look at her arm over here. Again, I have no idea how accurate it is, but the fact they're able to squeeze in all this detail on her arm and on her chest is pretty phenomenal. You'll see she even has these sculpted armbands here. Obviously, they still are going with the pinned elbows here, uh, but at least you, they are double jointed. You can see she does have some finger paint here on the rock on hands, as well as some detailing on the hand. Even the cuffling here has some uh, kind of studs on there, uh, which is similar a similar pattern you will see on her attire here. See a few studs. Looks really nice. I do like that. Take a look on her other side of her arm. She's got tattoos on her neck. I mean, all around her torso. They did a good job with this. She's got the runaway on the back. A lot of detail went into this figure. This is really nice, guys. Moving on down, you'll see the pants and the boots with more studs and more straps on here. Uh, she's got the one kind of uh, leg sticking out here. More tattoo, tattoo detail under there. I, was, I will say the tattoo detailing on her leg looks not the best. They don't look like tattoos to me. They look like a pair of pants where they kind of have some logos printed on it, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, they even went ahead and, and got the sculpted chain here. That looks pretty nice. See some more tattoo de details on her leg. Looking around the back again one more time. All in all, it looks pretty good for the most part. I mean, no complaints here. Uh, I, I do feel like for, you know, Ruby Soho, I, I'll say Jazzers knocked it out of the park. This looks really great. Also, here is the other head on the figure itself. And I feel like this one looks pretty good too. Again, great likeness with both head, head scans if you ask me. For your figure comparison, so on the left, we have the AW Supreme Britt Baker. And on the right, we have the most recent top picks, Ronda Rousey. And you will see how Ruby kind of scales. She is a little taller. Obviously, the Jazzers is a bigger scale versus the Mattel. Uh, but she does stack up pretty nicely next to Britt Baker, which she had an unbelievable rivalry with. Moving right along, we are taking a look at the late, great Brody Lee. And as far as his accessories go, you do get a stack of papers here as well as the rolled up version of the papers. We did get this in his prior, I think it was the Unmatched series release that we got a while back. It also does come with the TNT Championship belt. Uh, looks really nice. Again, we have seen this before. Uh, this one actually straps in pretty nicely here. I feel like a lot of the AW belts sometimes are a pain in the ass to close. This one closes pretty seamlessly. Um, so we again, we have seen this before, but again, it does look really nice. You get the rolled papers here, which fit into his hands as well as an AW Jazzers microphone. Uh, but, you know, I know a lot of us wanted a version of him in the suit, and he looks pretty good, man. Uh, so you will see he's got the vest on underneath. Nice sculpted detail there. He's got the black tie. Um, you can see the arms. He's got some cufflings here. Very nice. Obviously, a different color suit. The red really does pop. Looks very different. I do like the look of it, especially, again, something very different from his Luke Harper days to... Uh, the exalted one, Brody Lee. I will say the one thing I'm noticing is he just looks really big. I mean, even if you look at the intro, uh, when we're taking a look at the packaging, you could barely see the top of his head. So I think he's just a little too big. I mean, just looking at him here, I know the Jazzwares line is based like, more on a 7-inch scale versus, I guess, a 6-inch scale. Uh, but these guys are just really big. And I think Brody Lee is, what, about 6'5"? Looks like he'd be. this figure could be somewhere around the 7-foot range, if you ask me. Uh, but taking a look at the pants, you will notice the detail in here. He does uh, have some sculpting on the pants. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a button here. Uh, the vest actually doesn't really... Well, it's not molded on there, but there is a little play if you guys want to see a little space there. But uh, he does have the, the belt sculpted on underneath. Taking a look at the pants. He does actually have a little added articulation here on the calf, which uh, the Jazzers line has done with a lot of these like suited or, or jeans figures. Uh, and then he's got the plain black shoes here, but all in all, pretty nice. Exactly what you'd want with a suited Brody Lee figure. Moving on to some comparisons. So on the left, we have the Brody Lee that came with the negative one two pack. Uh, the attire that he is wearing in his ring gear is the same exact attire that came out uh, with the unmatched figure. And you will notice this one does come with a coat. That is the only difference. 
Uh, but looking at these two Brodies next to each other, they seem to stand pretty well in height. I think they are about the same. If the suited one is maybe just a tad taller now that I'm looking at it, actually. Nose to nose, you will see, yeah, it's just slightly taller, I will say. Um, if you do notice, the uh, actual beard and the hair is a little darker on the newest Unmatched figure. Uh, it's more of a brown here versus more of a dark black. Uh, but other than that, the head scan is the same. It's just the paint variations. Um, personally, these are both great to have to your collection. And also, if you were wondering, you can actually fit the TNT Championship belt around his waist uh, under the coat. Lastly, we are taking a look at Malachi Black. He's without a doubt my favorite wrestler in AW right now. And his accessories do include a set of interchangeable mic open holding hands. You can see the nice tattoo detailing on there. He does have the anti-hero tattoo on his knuckles, but really great uh, deco even just on his hands. Additionally, you do get this interchangeable head. I know a lot of people were not a fan of this head scan. This did come with a Supreme figure. Uh, that we received not too long ago. This is the actual head that came with the Supreme. You will see the skin tone is different uh, with this Malachi black figure. Uh, he actually does even have some kind of more tattoo detailing on this head that this one does not have. You're seeing that right off the bat. But we'll jump more into that once we get to figure comparisons. But taking a closer look at this figure right here. Look at that freaking mask. So this is similar to what we got with the um, the Supreme figure. But if you notice, the robe that he does have is more of a plastic robe. It is not that soft goods that we did get. And this hood seems to be sculpted on. You'll see on the side there are some slots here where you can remove um, this kind of, I guess, scarf over his mouth if you want to call it. But before we even get there, let's just take a close-up look at this mask. This seems to have a little more texturing to it. Um, maybe just looks darker or weathered. Um, once we get into comparisons, you'll see what I'm saying, but this looks really good. Um, you can see the nice little strands hanging off them too. Those are sculpted on there. And again, the mask is removable here, or not the mask, the actual scarf on his face. You'll see it will pour it out and you can get a look at the sculpted beard on underneath. I'm already loving this figure and I love the Supreme. I may have been in the minority with that, but... Uh, this looks pretty good. And again, this figure that came with a Supreme, or excuse me, this vest, there was like a, a plastic piece, and this was the same molded piece that you put on over his soft goods uh, cloak. You'll see this is all one molded piece. Honestly, I feel like that was a little confusing. Some people were wondering whether it was just a vest or what. Um, this looks a little better to me. It just makes it a little simpler. Uh, and you will see the mask does pour right out. So let's get this um, cloak or whatever you want to call it off of the figure. And we will take a deep dive into his tattoos because I know that was a huge complaint. Uh, but if you want to get one quick close-up look at this mask with a cloak off, that looks so sick, man. Some nice detailing there. You will see he's even got the white face paint painted on under here, just like that's on his eye. Let me bring that other head scan back in real quick. You'll see here, that's kind of like, coming through as as you can see the little white paint over there it looks pretty sick man take a look at the back with his hair absolutely love how this mask looks i went ahead and swapped the heads on just to give you an idea of what he looks like in his ring gear and i get it some people are saying it looks a little too cartoony i know something about this head scan looks a little better to me maybe uh than the supreme uh maybe not as cartoony i don't know let's bring them both back in i don't know if it's a skin tone or what or the paint applications, but something about this head looks better. I feel like he does have a little bit more of a tan. Uh, so that's interesting to see. But if you guys want to get a close-up look at the tattoos, I will say these tats look to be a little more prevalent. They are a little darker. Uh, so they're definitely showing a little better, if you ask me, than maybe the Supreme. But again, we will get to that once we get to comparisons. Uh, but more tattoo detailing on his arms, his hand. Look at that across his chest, on his neck. I mean, Ruby Soho was amazing. I mean, Malachi is even on another level. I just love the colors. Some great tattoo detailing on his hands even. So I know with the Supreme figure, he did not have his, I guess, inner bicep tattoo. And look, he's got so many tattoos. I couldn't tell you if they were accurate or not. I know a lot of you guys were telling me that he does have a lot of tattoos on his inner bicep area. So they are on this figure, and I believe they were on the Supreme as well. But uh, it doesn't seem to be any different um, on this unmatched figure here. You will see there is a lot of spacing here between tattoos. But I will say, these tats look a lot brighter. They look pretty nice. So 
I mean, that's a one plus if you're gonna really compare. Uh, I will say with the head now that I'm looking at it, it kind of has a little bit of a no neck syndrome. Maybe just a little. I think it's passable, but uh, from certain angles, definitely think so. Uh, on the back, look at that back tattoo. So that's one thing I did uh, notice with the Supreme is the outline and the coloring wasn't there. This looks to be a little more accurate. I think he does have like that big green uh, demon on his back. And look at all the tattoo detailing. Man, this figure is sick. I absolutely love it. The tattoo detailing continues onto the back of his head here. Just unbelievable. Same on the other side. Bravo to Jazzers. I really love... I mean, I'm a little biased because I just love Malachi so much. So I'm just happy to have more figures of him. Uh, but take a look at his tattoo detail on his legs. Just dude is so tatted. It's like on another level. Same on the other leg here. You'll see he's got these textured like knee pads. This looks really nice. Same on his kick pads moving on down. And obviously you're not going to have the same articulation. So you're not going to have the butterfly joints. You don't have the pinless elbows or the pinless knees. They are coming through here. But this figure is freaking sick. It's pretty damn solid. Also, in case you were curious, you can use the entrance gear with the other head, the uh, kind of massless head here. Uh, I will say the scarf over the face is a little baggy, but again, you can remove this from the sides here and just kind of have the cloak if that's kind of a look you want to go with. But I mean, definitely some options here for sure. Moving on to comparisons, and this is going to be a fun one. So we have two Supreme uh, Malachi Black figures. You get so many different accessories that you really can make two completely different figures. So the very left here is the Supreme. This is the unmatched figure. And here is another Supreme with some different variations, obviously. And on the right, we have a Mattel Elite. Uh, but let's compare the two that are most similar. So you can see the entrance gear on the newest unmatched and the Supreme. Uh, they have similar head sculpts, but you'll see how this kind of looks a little more like weathered. Uh, versus the one that came with the Supreme here. Uh, same head sculpt as far as uh, you can see the eyes coming through. I uh, will say this one kind of has a little bit of face paint too. I don't think I've ever really noticed that um, on the Supreme. But the same sculpt, the same little tassels hanging off here. Uh, this one actually has a soft goods mask that you can slide over here. It's under his neck. Uh, but again, it's the same sculpt on the mask for sure. And this is what I was talking about with the vest. So this is actually one piece. If you see here, this looked like a vest. And a lot of people weren't sure exactly what was the point of it. But uh, you can see some slight variations here. Just a little different. But it, again, it is the same sculpt. And to me, this is still my favorite mask for sure. Absolutely love how this came out. Uh, it just looks so damn menacing. Uh, but if you wanted to compare the mask with these two, uh, some great variations. And again, you could probably swap these out. And put them on, say, the uh, unmatched figure. The skin tones do not match. I know if you guys are, are seeing that here. Uh, but he is a lot lighter uh, with the Supreme versus the newest unmatched. I personally like the tan. Uh, and we're going to get all the entrance gears off and kind of compare the tattoos uh, in another segment. But really just want to get the entrance gear down pat first. And the next figure we have, obviously, is an uh, WWE Mattel Elite figure. Still one of my favorites. I feel like this head scan still captures a more realistic look of Alistair, if I had to say. Um, obviously, I feel like the Mattel Elites were a little too short. Uh, Jazzer's being on a different scale. He is a lot taller, but uh, all in all, I'm happy to have all these figures in my collection. I'm a huge fan, so these all look great. Removing the entrance gear off of all the figures, you will see the variations in the tattoos and how different they do look. So obviously, Mattel is going to have a different styling. I still absolutely love how this figure came out, but... Uh, comparing the two Jazzers figures, so you will notice, obviously you're noticing the skin tones for sure on these are really different, but even kind of the placement of the tattoos look to be a little different. Um, look how much darker, they, they just really pop a lot more. I remember seeing this like stomach tattoo uh, on the Supreme, I was like, is mine faded? Is it missing a part? You will see it kind of fades here on the side, and it's really hard to see on a stomach here on this end. Uh, again, he does have the butterfly joints. This is a slightly different torso. He has more articulation. So I wonder if that's really what played a part into it. But even look on the placement on the, the tattoos on his shoulder. He has no tattoo on the side of his head, which this one does have. Take a look on this side as well. Take a look at the arms. So again, no tattoos on the bicep for either. You guys see that there? 
Same with the Mattel. They actually do have the tattoo here. So I guess that is how it was supposed to look. Um, and it is missing on both of the Jazzwares figures, which I'm surprised because they seem to do a pretty good job uh, with their tattoos. Uh, I do want to continue to move along because, again, he is very heavily tatted. Obviously, so there are two sets of legs that come with the Malachi Supreme. This is more the kickboxing look. You will see the knee pads and the kick pads are the same. This one does have the added toe articulation because it is a Supreme. But the back tattoo, to me, the, the light green, I think, is a little more accurate. No? Correct me if I'm wrong. That's just how I remember it. Uh, let's see what Mattel went with. It was a darker one. So maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but, you know, I kind of like the back tattoo with the lighter green and the purple tongue. Both look pretty good, pretty menacing. I do like the reds more on the Supreme. That seems to pop a little more. But, I mean, just look at the blacks on the arm versus uh, the new Unmatched and the Supreme figure. You will see the differences here. And I'm curious, as far as height, it seems like the Unmatched one, he is, he is smaller. Now, I wonder if that has to do with the legs. I actually do have another set of the legs here because I want to run through a quick comparison very similar even with the legs the supreme figure is slightly taller than the unmatched figure I feel like this is more in scale I think he was just a tad too tall and again this is probably my favorite uh Jazzwares figure that they've made since I'm a huge Malachi the supreme figure I absolutely love but you know I feel like they've made some improvements with this unmatched figure and I guess you guys can swap it. The skin tones won't match. Uh, but if you guys wanted... I guess not. The There it is. You will see that the torso doesn't sit too tightly on the Supreme uh, bottoms with a kick pad, uh, kickboxing short. So that unfortunately will not work, plus the skin tone. Um, but if you want to get a quick close-up look at the Mattel, we will do that as well. Just to kind of give you some ideas of how these tattoos look. From two different companies making the same figure, same character. Just look, I mean, I'm happy to have all of them. I feel like they all look good in their own right. And I'm surprised how much more I'm liking this new Unmatched figure. Before we finish up this video with some final thoughts on these figures, if you guys haven't already, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. With your support, I can grow this channel and, and put out some more great content. But I do appreciate you guys checking out this video review. Uh, so please subscribe and stay tuned for more reviews coming down the road. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells. As far as these three figures go, I'm very happy with all of them. Uh, personally, I'm surprised how much I really did like them because like I said earlier, I feel like I've had a little bit of a falling out with the Jazzers line. It's not I, I don't like the figures. It's just it's a combination of me watching a little less AW, to be honest. Um, you know, kind of a little bit of a gap in between. But these figures are pretty fun. I will say Ruby Soho is great. I love the likeness of the head scans. Uh, I'm was a little upset they only gave us one interchangeable hand, but at least you get one rock on hand. So I do like that. Her tattoo detail looks great. A lot of love and care went into that figure. And it's not perfect, but it does look pretty good. Uh, for especially what we've been getting with the Jazzers figures. Uh, Brody Lee, it's great. I feel like this is a figure a lot of us have wanted him in a suit. It took a while for them to get there, but you know what? We got him. Uh, this is definitely one you're going to want to add to your collection. Um, and it's different enough, obviously, from the entrance gear uh, to his suited gear. Malachi, one of my favorite figures. You know, is it better than the Supreme? I'm sure that's what a lot of people are asking. No, but I am. This is what I want from Jazzers. They've made improvements, right? The Supreme figure to me is still a better figure, but the skin tone is updated on this. The tattoos look to be a lot more prevalent. Uh, the little extra detailing on the mask. So they made some improvements. Even the the scale, he's slightly shorter, which I think is more accurate. So I'm surprised how much more I like it. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be better than Supreme, but they really came a lot closer than I thought they would have. If there's one complaint. It's this freaking mask is kind of a pain in the ass to port back in on the side. Uh, I'm not a fan of that at all. But all in all, I really do love this figure. I am going to say even if you have the Supreme, this is one I would recommend adding to your collection. And just for fun, let's rank the set in order from my least favorite to my favorite. At number six being my least favorite figure, I'm going to go Ortiz. I'm just not crazy about the figure. I feel like it's not needed for your collection and to, you know, kind of jump piggyback off of that. At number five, I'm going to go Santana. Again, these two are just, are, they're so old and outdated. I just, they're one-offs. I, I don't think you need it for your collection. I wasn't really crazy about them. Uh, at number four, I'm going to go Owen Hart. 
I again I do feel like the ringside version is better but again this is not the Owen Hart that any of us really want for a collection I think if we had gotten one version of this with him just in the black or the red I think that would have sufficed uh, I'm ready for something different I don't know if New Japan's gonna you know satisfy that need or what uh, or if I really even want any more Owen Hearts from this kind of era in my collection. So he's going to be at number four. At number three, I'm going to go Brody Lee. I do like the figure. It is one I feel like we needed for our collection. But um, again, it is another figure in a suit. Uh, and for that reason, number one and number two are going to be my tatted friends here. With number two going to Ruby Soho, I really do like the likeness. A lot of great detailing went into it. And number one, Malachi Black. How could you not? Look at that, how menacing he looks with that mask and that stance right there. Absolutely love it. If you are interested in grabbing any of these figures, they are all available now at ringsidecollectibles.com. Don't forget to use promo code 4 life It will save you 10% off your order. I appreciate all you guys checking on this video review, and I will catch you all on the next one.